first of all, um, why it works or why we have the reincarnational process is because this, this uh, learning process is not something that one can expect to accomplish in you know, 60, 70 years. It just doesn't work that, that there's too much to learn. It's a change of your being and people don't change that much from their experience. So you have to, you're gonna have to do it multiple times. Remember this is a, this is a, uh, an evolution machine. You know, this will be kind of a, 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 an odd way to express this to you. you know, only a physicist could say this, and I don't know whether you'll like it or not, but think of, think of us in this reincarnational sense as sort of like the working fluid in an in a evolutional engine, right? You know, sort of like the refrigerant goes around in the, in the compressor in the refrigerator. You know, each time it goes around, it gets cooled a little bit. And here we are, each time we go around, we decrease our entropy a little bit. So here we are decreasing entropy turn after turn, you know, we're, we're the working fluid in a, an evolution machine, and that's our, that's our job. Yeah, I see the, the technical people are getting that. Yeah, they say, yeah, I see that. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Other people kind of uh, th don't, don't relate to that. But we have to go around, it, it's a cyclical thing, because every time you cycle, you are trying to lose entropy and doing a little better. So that's why we have to have the reincarnation. The other reason is that people get get uh, trapped. What happens to the majority of people is that, um, you know, there's a few times when you think you know everything. You know, one of them is two. It's called the terrible twos. You know, the next one is teenage years, you know, and, you know, that's, of course, those are terrible as well. <laughs> you know, then you get to about 40 or 50, and people kind of think they know everything. They've been there, and they've done that, and uh, there's not much that they don't know, and they have their beliefs, and basically they're dead-ended. They get in a corner. They box themselves into a corner with their beliefs, and that stops their growth. So they're just kind of there. Well, you have to give them a chance. You can't say, well, you're stuck. You're there forever. You know, for eternity, you're stuck there. What happens is they die. They get to start over with a clean slate, without all those beliefs. Without, they have to regenerate all of that intellectual thinking stuff over from scratch. Now, they don't start over from scratch as far as their quality of consciousness. Whatever quality of consciousness they attained in that last incarnation, that's where they start the next time. But they have to start from zero as far as their experience base goes, which means all their beliefs and that kind of stuff has to come up pretty much from scratch. Now, that's not entirely true. I'm just giving you the kind of the bigger picture. When you uh, pass from this reality frame, you're just shifting data streams. When you shift that data stream, immediately most people tend to be very confused because they don't know what's going to happen. They're confused. A lot of times they're frightened and terrified. Uh, could be an accidental death, or even if it's just old age, they're often very terrified of death. And they come, they kind of wake up, if you will. They maintain. They don't really wake up. They just continue consciousness, and they're in a different environment. And it's very disconcerting for most and there will be, there is a whole reality frame, a virtual reality frame that's designed just for transitions. And that's what they do there. That's their, that's their job. And people who are transitioning, they basically are, are met, they're guided, and mostly what's being done is they're, they're being set at ease. Relax, everything's okay, you're where you're supposed to be. Yes, everything's fine, you know, relax. Yes, your dog, you know, will get along. And, all this reassurance sort of thing. What begins to happen almost immediately is that your past physical life starts to fade very much the way a dream fades when you wake up and you've been dreaming. It starts to just fade away. So all of those concerns, all of those uh, you know, very, very important things that were on the top of your mind start to get less important and start to fade. Uh, you're taken to places that will assure you that you're in process. And a lot of that is just so you feel because you, you come knowing that if, you know, you have to be doing something, you know, you need to be in process. You know, what line should I stand in is kind of the way you feel. Because if you're not standing in a line to do something or somebody do something to you, then nothing's happening. So we have these beliefs. So sure enough, they create process. You know, they create lines to stand in. They create places to go, things to do, people to talk to. And okay, your turn's coming, you know, next we're gonna, 
and people kind of gradually then get de, you know, um, they get uh, decompressed from this reality into a larger, all the time, the physical's dropping away. The dream is that you just had of the physical is, is disappearing, getting weaker and weaker and weaker. Eventually, you are uh, uh, approached about another incarnation, about uh, what it is you need to do. The idea that you're trying to learn and grow, if you are aware enough, if you've been through this enough times that you kind of, oh yeah, all right, I, I get it, then you will get to a place where they will work with you on what do you want to do next? What do you need to work on? Where do you think your problems are? And if you go, mm, I don't have any problems, they will show you what your problems are and what you have to do next. That's what some of those databases are for. They'll take you and they'll run those databases and they'll say, well, look here, you see this where you, you know, gave this guy the finger when he you know, pulled in front of you, you know? That wasn't nice, you know? <laughs> and you need to get, you have an anger management problem, you know? You have this ego problem and they will, you'll go basically through a review. If you, don't, if you don't know the answers, they'll help you find them. You will see what, where your problems are and there is no escaping. You know, it's not like you can say, oh, well, that's not true. You know, that didn't happen. <laughs> They've got you good to write, and you know it. And a lot of things that you didn't even know that you did necessarily that were very uh, unhelpful, you know, may come back up, and you see it, and you go, oh, you know, I get it. Okay, I really need to work on anger management. And then you decide, well, then let's put you in a place where anger management's going to challenge you because that's how you get over things. You don't get over them by ignoring them. You get over by going into them and, and being challenged by them. So then they'll put you in that situation where, you know, you're a uh, father and you've got four teenage daughters, you know, and anger management is, is uh, you know, really uh, something that you need to work on. <laughs> Anyhow, do I sound like a guy that had teenage daughters? <laughs> I have two girls and two boys and uh, they're all wonderful. You know, and if you know what you're doing, which is part of this question, you know, if you know about the larger reality, if you understand how things work, you're better at playing the game than you are if you're totally clueless. So that's why this kind of understanding is really helpful because it can help you interpret your experiences. Why is this happening to me? You start looking for your lessons. You start realizing that growing and the choices you make are very important instead of just going through life like a zombie, you know, doing whatever you do because you're doing it. You can kind of be aware, living in the moment, aware of your ego, aware of your anger, you know, trying to reduce those things. If you actually make an effort, you can do a lot better, a lot quicker, a lot faster. You don't have to evolve in tiny, tiny steps. If you're totally unaware, then it takes you a long time before you start to become aware. But you know, those of us who have been around a few times and you come back and you're a zero, you know, as far as you don't know anything in this physical reality anymore, you start over, we get nudged a lot. Things happen to us. Paranormal things pop in our face and go, hey, there's a bigger reality out here. You know, remember, and it takes you along so you get back a lot more quickly than it took you to get there the first time because you come back in with the same quality that you attained the last time. So it's a much faster trip each time, you see? So you get, to, you get back to where you left off a lot quicker than it took you to get there the last time. So that's kind of the way that uh, the reincarnation works.